Uh, we're just excited to be a part of the dance. You know, we've been all last year. We were just really trying to hodgepodge the team together. We got some great kids to come in, and we took it to a level that we could. That's all we can do is the 20 and 13. And this year is different. We talked about the players being a, a player-led team, and they took us even higher. And to be at this dance, it's just it's humbling and exciting. And we'll play anybody, anywhere, anytime. What do you know about uh, Auburn and Arizona off the top of your head? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. And I'm certain, and I know the coaches, and the coaches are amazing coaches, and I know that they've done some tremendous things, but as far as um, film and all that stuff, we're going to go with that done tonight for sure. I'll know everything about it, including their social security number by the end of the night tonight. <laughs> To be right over in UConn, so close for Orange fans to drive, what do you think about that? You know, I, I, I'm excited about the UConn opportunity because we had a close scrimmage with UConn at the beginning of the year, and after we scrimmaged them, uh, Gino said to us, your team is special. We're going to surprise a lot of teams. Hopefully the surprise is going to be in postseason. And what are you most looking to prove during this tournament run? We're just hoping to prove that we want to stay together a little bit longer. And, you know, for every 40 minutes that we have success, it's going to give us an opportunity to be in our family zone for another day. And so it's all about our family. It's all about us. It's nothing personal about anybody else. We're just trying to sustain each other as long as we can. And the more we win, the longer we can do that. Wait, when you scrimmage with your team early like that, do you hold things back knowing you could face them in the NCAA tournament just to like not show them, them everything? Or? No, no, we don't talk about anything other than what our moment is. We always talk about being with your feet are, and I mean that sincerely. We never look ahead. I've never done that. I'm not really good about that. It's all about, you know, what what's in front of us. And right now we don't even know what's in front of us because they have to play against each other. And once we find that out Wednesday night, then we get after it a little bit more. Coaches and I, we're gonna get together and we're gonna watch some film on both teams, but the players, I want them to still stay free and relax and have a good time and have Monday off and Tuesday and get to work on just trying to get in shape for whoever we play. And what are some things that you're focusing on improving during this game? You know, our toughness. You know, I, I just felt like in our last game, we left so much on the table. We didn't show our toughness until the fourth quarter. And I think that it's important that people see us for who we have been all season. And that's a team that plays for 40 minutes. And we didn't have that opportunity. It's a blessing to play again, because now we get that opportunity to show 40 minutes of hopefully Syracuse women's basketball. It'll be two weeks, really, since you guys have played. How do you guys prepare and you know keep up the energy when you have that much time off? Well, we've done this before, right? When we they had that week off, and then we had another week off to play uh, in the uh, ACC tournament. And we, we bombed it. And so we know what it looks like to fail at that. So now we want to figure out how to fly with this. And so we've already learned uh, the, the problem and we understand the assignment. And now it's just to make this, this, this narrative to be different at the end. That's our goal. Any more questions for Coach? Awesome. Uh, we've seen UConn Syracuse over the years. Right, it's a, it's a common matchup because of geography. With how the sport is growing, would you like to see them get away from geography a little bit and give you guys a little bit more variety? I think the East Coast is the best coast to be on. If we could, what we should do is have all the games on the East Coast and, and then make it about New York City, Connecticut, and all of New Jersey. And, 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 and come on, NCAA, with all the games here. I think it's awesome. I love this place. I've been all over the world. I've been all over the country. Uh, New York State is the mecca of the world. And we're the best school in the state of New York. And let's just have it always here. That's my thought. <laughs>